This is crazy. What is good, Nintendo fans? Can you believe the hype? I told you that the media blitz is happening now. We got a bunch of new key art when it comes to the characters featured in Tears of the Kingdom. Before we had Link, Zelda, and that's pretty much it. But now we have artwork of Ganondorf, Tulin, Riju, and Sidon. But here's the thing, at first we only had one piece of art when it comes to these other characters that were shown off in the final Tears of the Kingdom trailer. We've had multiple key arts of Link because, you know, it's Link. But now we got more key arts of Ganondorf, Tulin, Riju, and Sidon. And they all look extremely cool. And a lot of people are starting to finally realize that Ganondorf is going to be rocking a katana in Tears of the Kingdom. But what's interesting that I've noticed when it comes to the release of these key arts is that it looks like each character is going to have at least two sets of key arts when it comes to their static pose with them just standing and looking cool or whatever, as well as an action pose or a battle pose where it shows them either in a stance or preparing for a battle. And this is reflected with Link, Ganondorf, Tulin, Riju, and Sidon which has me incredibly excited for a number of reasons, considering that the Tears of the Kingdom final trailer revealed that party members may be a thing within this game, in which Sidon was fighting alongside Link. And no, I'm not saying that Ganondorf is going to be a party member at any point in the game. I mean, maybe in DLC, some weird DLC, but what I'm saying is that many characters in this game, whether it be friend or foe, will be battle capable as confirmed in their arts. And a lot of people are waiting for the idea of a Zelda battle art, possibly utilizing the power of her tear in her Zonai dress. And speaking of tear, something to point out specifically with Ganondorf's arts is that in his battle pose, the tear on his forehead is red, as we've seen and gathered in the trailer. But in his static art, where he's just standing at rest, the tear is a darkish black color which could definitely insinuate something incredibly interesting if these tiers are going to go in line with the elements known from Ocarina of Time, in which Ganondorf's tier may indeed be the shadow element, which then becomes corrupted by his malice. With shadow being the closest corresponding element out of the six sage elements that would go in line with Ganondorf's abilities. But that's just speculation at this point, as Riju already has what many believe to be the spirit tier, as well as Sidon and Tulin having tiers of their own. But all this is incredibly exciting, and I cannot wait to see more artwork of more characters as we go into the release of Tears of the Kingdom. If you liked this video, leave a comment, like and share to spread the love, and subscribe to HMK. Remember, if we hit 200k before the game releases, I'm going to be giving away multiple copies of the game along with a collector's edition and a Switch OLED special edition. Until the next video, this has been HMK, and I'll check you guys later.